My team's biggest challenge was to build a global supply chain to feed the material into the program and also develop relationships with Australian suppliers so that we could have that leverage into the Australian market. This involved engaging nearly 3,000 Australian suppliers to leverage the Australian defence industry to support this program and future sovereign shipbuilding capability. And we have achieved it. Global suppliers that make equipment and supply material for our production to build the ships. It involves suppliers across Europe, across other parts of the world, but most importantly, it involves Australian suppliers building Australian ships. So Taylor Brothers has evolved from being a company that was a yacht builder. We started on this project in 2009. Our supply to the Alliance and to the AWD program included basically the whole interior surface and fittings that you can see inside the ship. We now have supplied 6,500 items per ship and probably the biggest volume of equipment inside the ship. I'm very proud of the team that we've got here. We started as a fundamental component manufacturer as the AWD program allowed us to evolve into a highly capable and complex manufacturer providing manufacturing services and solutions. We supplied over two and a half thousand line items and grew our workforce to an excess of 100 people. It's easy for our people to be invested in this project. It's a highly regarded project in the community. People talk about it, they want to know about what we're doing for it. And it makes people feel good about doing something significant. And I'm quite proud about what our people have done to contribute to this nation building project. Prior to AWD, we were involved in the ANZAC program, but the AWD performance criteria took that up another notch. So the skills we learned through that are now transferable into future work. Part of the challenges that we faced was to take readily available industrial hardware and then ruggedize that to survive the shocking environment platform of a near warfare destroyer. D, we have a very, very skilled team upstairs that are thoroughly fluent in the environment for maritime. What were once challenges, now actually manageable tasks for us. So overall, the whole place has grown as a result of being part of this program. Eptec is the, the largest and leading company in marine preservation, so application of protective coatings, and also develop uh, insulation, sheet metal work, pipe work, and flooring as other services to the Royal Australian Navy. Eptec was originally engaged by the AWD Alliance to conduct the compartment completion on AWD Ship 3. So as an island nation, the ability to build and maintain our own ship is critical for Australian sovereign capability. This industry, it is the future, especially for this state. I already told our young engineers and uh, some of the young painters, and I said, guys, this is the future, just with the shipbuilding, and that is all the sustainment that is gonna continue going. It's, it's the place to be. The real challenge has uh, been the learning curve on such a complex project. The uh, nature of the work uh, that we do with uh, blast and paint, it's a very hazardous, very high risk trade. We're very proud of what we do. At the end of the day, uh, we go home and we know we've done a good job to help out the Australian Navy and uh, Australian people by working on this project. For us the importance is getting it right first time, ensuring the material as it comes into the warehouse is checked off, inspected and is ready for production use and meeting production demands. We can have an amazing amount of volume moving through here, uh, cranes on site, number of trucks, no two days are the same and it's been an exciting journey. I have been rewarded with a, a fantastic team that work for me. I am incredibly grateful for the effort they've put in, the support they provide on a day to day basis. For the AWD Alliance and the AWD, we, we actually provided the basis for the Australian Tactical Interface, which is basically the connection between the Aegis uh, in the US Aegis combat system and then all the other tactical systems on board the, the vessels. The ATI or the Australian Tactical Interface is the key enabler to provide the full capability. And then enabling the vessel to have the world leading force protection that uh, all the technical expertise is, is available when the AWD Alliance needs it to be able to, to support the system in operation.
Without an effective supply chain team, the AWD Alliance wouldn't receive the material it needed or the services it needed to meet the schedule and cost for delivering the AWD program. Building a sovereign ship building capability and building these three lethal warships is the biggest challenge the government could take on. And we've built that from a brownfield site through to three air warfare destroyers in around 10 years. That is a massive challenge and it's been done by the people of the Air Warfare Destroyer Alliance.